All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 204 pounds. Fighting out of Let Bridge, Alberta, Canada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves, and we are underway. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big hook. Flush knee. Just missing on the uppercut there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That kick blocked by Lee. Got the single collar tie. 
Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, looked like he was trying to... Oh, what a nice lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice straight punch. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. It won't take many of those. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. fighter in this instance it most certainly did he's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks straight punch lands him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Real sneaky body kick. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Can you imagine what some of those knees would do to a human being like me? Oh, man, let me tell you, I've been on the wrong end of some knees like that, and they are very damaging. They start to really wear at the gas tank, and you could see it in his opponent. And the way that his opponent has now started to react to the idea of another one of those knees landing. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he comes through with a big knee. hip over when he throws that kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh! Huge kick to the body! Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Checks that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Plus right hand is true. Slips the punch. Flip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Do 
some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ten minutes in the books. Level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready, to fight? Ready. Good. Lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Yeah, yeah. Kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Size with these beautiful leg kicks. Good punch lands. Slips. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Oh, big head kick. Great kicks there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Huge block there. Really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. Try to establish that jab once again. hip into that kick. What a round. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready, round. Fight. High Ready. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was, he's as effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Visibly limping here. Hands high, hands high. 
great punch lands with so much power. Big head kick. Blocks the shot. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Nice kick there by Lou. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. How good is that right hand? Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses with the jab. Uh. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Shot is blocked. Just missed with that right hand. Under a minute to go. It is oh. Oh, yeah. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. Nice body. Ball fades upstairs and lands crushed. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. They will stop very soon. How about those five minutes? All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. How about that shin? Oh, big roundhouse attempt. Just misses. That could have been lights out. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly.
looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. There's no give on that leg kick. One minute to go in the fight. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. The grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know no when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 48 47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Assassin. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous.